Saturday the 25th of August was a busy day for North Berwick, a seaside town 22 miles from Edinburgh. There were activities for rowing boats. There was a yacht regatta. And there was the annual raft race. On a normal year, the rafts start at a certain point on the shore, paddle out to a buoy in the bay, then cross to the harbour wall, and from there back to the starting point. This year, however, because of a fear that the rafts might get in the way of the yachts and rowing boats, the harbour wall section has been cancelled. Just getting round the first buoy is all they need to do. The fun starts hours before the raft race itself, with entertainment facilities on Anchor Green behind the shoreline. There's a variety of children's activities. There's musical entertainment, both for older listeners and for younger ones. There are stalls with goods to sell. There are refreshment vans. The sun is shining as it is today. Everyone enjoys themselves. Then the rafts start to arrive and are lined up on the beach close to where the tide will come. This year there are only seven entries, fewer than in previous years. While waiting for the race to begin, there is time to wander among the rafts and to see the crews. One of the teams entering the race for the first time is the North Berwick Rotary Club. Their raft is called Liz's Boys because Liz is their president this year their first lady president. She is not one of the rowers, but an effigy of her head is on the prow of the raft. We're, we're representing the Rotary Club of North Berwick. Um, so this is our young team, and um, we're hoping to get at least halfway before sinking. The next two rafts, the orange one and the green one, are both sponsored by Bob Duna and represent RNLI, the North Berwick lifeboat. This is Bob Dunner and Danny Maxwell. We have two rafts, Thunderbird 2, which we're on, and the lifeboat raft, which is over, which is over there. Uh, this is our seventh year of entering, and hopefully we'll win it this year. The next raft after that is called the Muffin Puffins. Both the raft itself and the crew are dressed like puffins and a little puffling follows along behind. Sadly, not even the organisers of the race seem to know who they are. The crews of the fifth and sixth rafts. The seventh raft, ABBA SOS, will introduce itself. Um, we are joining the action services, local businessman, um, Stephen Barnes sponsored us this afternoon, sadly he can't be here, but um, thanks for everybody to turn up and it was nice of you to take part and hope you shout when we go up and collect the prize. All the best, take care. And now it's almost time for the race to begin. They're off.
the rotary raft is in trouble. And the tide's bringing them back. <laughs> oh, sad. The green raft is doing well. From this angle, it looks as though the yellow raft is second and the orange raft is third. From the shore, the three leaders are still in view, but entry number five, the one with the flag, seems to be struggling. It is getting quite a tight race now. The yellow and orange rafts are catching up. They still have quite a way to go before they reach the board. The muffin puffins with their puffling are lying forth, and entry number five is close behind. The yellow raft, which was furthest from the camera, is now nearest, while the orange and green further away and neck and neck. Now the boy, the yellow boy, is in sight. But which way round will they go? If they were going on to the harbour, they would have to go round it clockwise. That is the way the orange and the green rafts are going. The orange raft is steering craftily, pushing the green one away from the inner track. By going round anti-clockwise, the yellow raft looks as though it is blocking the green one. The green raft has got free of the yellow raft and has started on the return journey. But the orange raft now has a clear lead. Both rafts are passing the fourth and fifth rafts, which are still on the way out. The green crew are still paddling. I don't expect they're too pleased with the yellow raft which got in their way. I don't think the green will catch the orange now. Back at shore, the rotary raft is going to try again. Raft number six, beyond them, is also having difficulties. Both rafts are top heavy. The rotary raft is in trouble again. But their good sports are keeping trying. Only 200 yards to go still doing their best. If both crews are lifeboat men, it's not surprising they're fit. The crews have to drag their raft to the shore and run up the beach to touch the finishing mark. Well done, boys. Now the yellow raft. They seem to have forgotten that they must get to the finishing point to register their arrival. Here come the muffin puffins and raft number five, neck and neck as they have been all the way. Either blown by the wind or deliberately, the muffin puffins are hard up against raft five but somehow or other they got ahead and have come in full. On their way to the finishing mark. And here's Raft 5. They've made it. Just the two of them on their own. Quite an effort. Raft number six has been blown off course and is being rescued by the lifeguard. Back home at last. So the raft race is over for another year. One photo opportunity for the winners and another photo for the most inventive costumes. The two lifeboat crews, orange and green, are having their own celebration commemorating their success 
the 2018 North Berwick Raft Race. Well done.